Yes, hi. Um, I am Dr. Khan, Shahar Khan from Plastic Surgery, executiveplasticsurgeon.com. Today I've done an end block resection of the right and also the left side of, a, of the chest uh, on a uh, young, healthy uh, 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 lady. And so as you can see, this is an end block resection uh, on the right side. Uh, completely removed end block and another one end block done on the left side uh, and what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and open these up so now for the first time is the implant going to be exposed to the outside so we'll see what the consistency of the uh, the capsule is and as you can see I am cutting this abnormal tissue that's encased around and I'm trying to find an area where I can easily penetrate this very thick capsule which I will call a grade 2 capsular contracture and so uh, relatively very thick abnormal fluid and um, so for the first time I'm opening this up and as you will see over here You can actually hear it being cut, and I'm going to cut it up into the four quadrants, like so. You can actually hear that implant capsule right here, very thick and indurated. And very, very abnormal capsule and as you will see for the first time am I removing it it is actually has had a you can see it has actually had a leak and this was all contained and this is abnormal particles that you see right here and believe it or not this is a leak this is an implant that was ruptured and one thing I will tell you it was removed and blocked and as you can see there is no spillage of this inside the chest cavity and you can see right here this is abnormal silica right here crystals of silica that have formed very abnormal uh, consistency it's like sandpaper concrete and I'm going to try to snap this in half and you can see this is like crystallized sugar at the bottom of a cup and all of this is abnormal 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 and again very thick no matter how hard I try abnormal thick calcification slash silica very abnormal uh, in consistency and you can see this is a implant that's been ruptured and we will see where it has ruptured from and it is micro bleeding and you can see from my hands this is a ruptured implant and hence the patient sign symptoms of the breast implant illness you can see right here again an abnormality also noted right here I'm gonna go ahead and cut this other side you can see it has actually deformed itself it's more kind of like a triangular shape and you can see actually those particles again they never left the patient's capsule i.e. they were always preserved inside so no matter what I cannot rupture this and so this is going to be cut for the first time on the table and I'm actually having difficulty grabbing it and as you can see right here this implant also appears to be ruptured and we will see the consistency this is abnormal and so again a ruptured implant for the first time it's actually seeing air and look at that abnormal abnormal and abnormal and this is the same it's much worse on the left side sandpaper type consistency and you can see all of these silica particles that have formed and you can see I'm going to actually 
it's like toothpaste and these are hard crystals and so you can see this this is ruptured as well and as you see for the first time I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and I press this is the ruptured part so again this is the whole purpose behind why you want to do it in block so you don't have this rupture into the chest cavity and this is a nightmare and silica will inevitably fix into the chest wall and very hard to remove and the patient will have continued misery and you can see I'm just actually trying to pick this up this is abnormal ruptured implant on the left side much worse than the right the right one also being ruptured and again this is the beauty of doing it at end block there is no other way of doing it and this is the abnormality right here all removed end block as you saw for the first time that this implant see air it was not removed first and then the capsule removed second all of it was removed at one time and hence the complete end block Thank you very much. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please share with your friends and anyone who will find this informative and as to why you want to remove the capsule and the implant and block, this is the reason why. I'm going to go ahead and send this to pathology so they can look and see exactly what is this. And they will uh, go ahead and analyze for any malignancy slash silica. They will do polarizable light to confirm that this is indeed silica. I'm going to go ahead and get these implants back to the patient. And I've already taken cultures from microbiology, uh, aerobic, anaerobic, and fungal. And there was no abnormal fluids to send to cytology. Thank you again very much. All the very best. Dr. Khan from executiveplasticsurgeon.com. Thank you.